Bonjour à tous, hello everyone, hope you all are well. In this video I will give you a brief description as to what was updated in 4.7.1 and an explanation of one of my favorite features which they've included is the manual landing. So the first item on the update is the magnetometer and the ability to recalibrate while you're flying. So if your horizon is off or there's something funny with the drone's attitude, you can recalibrate while the drone is in the air. The next item on the list is Geofence's uh, integration with Follow Me. Now you can set your maximum altitude, maximum distance and activate Geofence with Follow Me and the drone will not exceed those limits. The next is the Failed Secure for Return to Home. If you've activated Return to Home with the Return to Home button, accidentally pressing any other buttons or the controls will not stop Return to Home. The drone will continue until you press return to home button and that's the only time which it will deactivate return to home. The next item is the return to home fail safe where if there's a disconnection during a landing phase when you set the drone to land and your device disconnects from the drone the RTH will not activate and it will continue to land. The last item on the list, my favorite, is the ability to manually land the drone by holding the throttle stick down for one second if it is uh, close to a surface. So if there's something underneath the drone like the ground or your hand, if you hold the down uh, throttle for one second, it will initiate landing. They've also done bug fixes with follow me and hand launch. Some people were having problems with hand launch where it would just uh, creak the motors, but it won't actually spin up. That has been sorted and I've actually tested that today. Okay, so back to the manual landing. You can manually land the drone on your hand if you put your hand underneath the ultrasonic sensor, which is the downward facing sensor underneath the drone. It will pick up your hand as a solid surface, so it'll think that it is the ground. And if you pull the joystick down, it'll go and hesitate. And if you hold it for one second, it will initiate landing and you will have the motors stop when it reaches your hand. There will be times where the motor the motor will continue to run and it will not shut down and that I would say is a failed landing so what you can do is hold the joystick up to take off again off your hand. I hope this video finds you well and you get the information that you need about the new update and this new trick with the manual landing. And uh, don't be scared if you put your hand underneath the drone. Just make sure if it doesn't stop the motors, push the throttle back up again to take off and you can attempt the landing again. The drone will not tip or fall off your hand. It is meant to stabilize itself, so don't worry about that. Until next time, fly safe and God bless.